Good morning everybody. This is Michael. Fresh Air with Fouch. This is my wife, Melissa, down here. We just had breakfast. And she is doing the dishes. See, that's how that works. I get up out of the tent in the cold. Get the fire going. Cook us breakfast. And she does the dishes. She got a laundry bag there to haul her dishes in. That way she don't have to come back and forth to camp. We're camped right by this stream here. Nice little stream. I don't think it's big enough to do any fishing out of, but it's nice. Got a little stream coming out of the mountains over here. And there is Peach Fuzz. Hi, Peach Fuzz. Say hi. She is eating and chewing something, as usual. Say hi, Melissa. She has got a bunch of clothes on, and on top of that, a Ghost Whisperer, puffy, and on top of that, uh, I think a North Face rain jacket. A rain jacket. Maybe a Columbia rain jacket. Anyway, she's making sure she don't get cold. So I'm going to walk you back up here to our campsite. Water's just a little ways from it. I'm going to walk up the hill here. Alright, my camera is acting funny. No, it's not. I just don't know how to use it. This is our campsite here. That's my fire. I had to get some rocks last night to build it up so that the wind wouldn't blow everything. It was uh, floating like crazy or blowing around. This is our tent. First time using it. It is the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL three HV expedition <laughs> that's a mouthful um, last night was our first night and we we really liked it we thought it did real well we got our packs over here um, last time I brought my my Z packs arcs hall but where this is a cold weather camping trip I had to go with the uh, the Gregory uh, Baltaro 65. That's Melissa's Osprey uh, Aja, like a 58, 55 or something. And this is Peaches Roughwear. And then that's my ditty bag up there. So that's our campsite. Uh, this is our table. It's an ultralight table and our chairs, some ultralight chairs. My axe for processing wood, um, our fishing poles, our trekking poles, our water bottles. Those are our water shoes because so we got a pretty big water crossing to get here. Um, that's about it. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. My battery went dead. So I had to put a new one in. Now I'm looking good. So, I was showing you the camp and all that. I may do a review on a piece of gear or something while we're out here. I just started this uh, channel, Fresh Air with Fout. So, I'm hoping to get some subscribers and it does well. I'm using this Canon SX. 50 HS We have a uh, we both got a The Canon M50 mirrorless cameras, but uh, we don't have a lot of lenses for them yet. So this one's just easier with the zoom and all that Peach fuzz her sweaters a little that one's a little too big the other one I brought her is too small and the puffies I brought her were too big so I got to get some other stuff um, so right now 
I think Melissa and I are gonna have to decide what we wanna do today. We can go up through here and follow this uh, Mountains to Sea Trail and see if we can find some of those other water holes for fishing that I've heard about. Or we can go back the way we came across the creek again. I left some packet gourmet meals in the car in our bear vault and uh, there's some fishing we can do over there as well. Way over there, I don't know if you can see it, is my bear bag. Oh yeah, this camera's got awesome zoom. There it is. That's a Z-Pax bear bag. And I've got it tied around one of those trees over there. I don't know which one, but uh, it is. Just trust me on that. I think it's this one here, but the rock bag is on the other side of it, so. Um, I'll let you know what we decide to do and I'll take you along. Thanks for watching. Well, we are here at Pisgah, fresh air with Fouch, and I'm fishing for trout, but I caught a crawdad instead. It's gonna get peaches. It's gonna get peaches. Peaches ain't paying that crawdad no attention. Girl, it's a nice it. little area to fish at. Beaches don't care about that crawl, do Very, very beautiful place. Very beautiful. And of course, that's my two sidekicks. That's my wife, Melissa. And my puppy, Peaches. Peaches is known as Fuzzy. And I call Melissa Pterodactyl Legs, which she hates. It's another little area here at Pisgah. The waterfall's right up there. I just got a bite. Let's see. Maybe y'all can see me real good fish. What I was saying, sorry I had to stop, I was getting a bite. Doing a little trout fishing here. I haven't had any luck this year so far, but I did just get a bite. There's Melissa down there fishing on that end. And there's Peach Fuzz just keeping an eye on everything, but as you can see, this is another beautiful area here at Pisgah. Good Friday, and uh, yesterday we got here about three o'clock. And after we got the campsite set up, tent and the wood process, and I had to carry some rocks up here for the pit and all that, really didn't feel like cooking our Thanksgiving dinner. So today we decided to cook it today for lunch instead of dinner. We went hiking today, but uh, anyways, I wanted to show you guys kind of what we're having for our Good Friday lunch. Uh, we've got some marinated sirloins here. I built the fire up. We got it hot underneath so I could cook it, but I'm having to keep moving water on it, keep the flames down. I've got some corn on the cob, cooking it inside the cob so it gets nice and soft in there. Over here under the towel, we've got some rice cooking in here. And then on the little stove here, on a little Cedar Summit stove, we are sauteing some portobello mushrooms to go with the steak. And then of course we got our jet boil, which we're heating water and having coffee. But these mushrooms, I just season them with uh, salt and pepper and butter. And I think they're gonna be very good. 
so that's what we got going on today. There's plenty here for me, my wife Melissa, and Peach Fuzz here. So well, I'll be eating good here in about five minutes. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is uh, Michael at Fresh Air with Fouch. I keep wanting to say Fouch Fabs. That's my other YouTube channel for the Granite Shop. But uh, anyways, I, I wanted to do some gear reviews. Uh, I've got this pillow here. Um, it's an air pillow for backpacking. Uh, you know, lightweight. Get them on Amazon all day long. My wife got me uh, this one. I cannot pronounce that name at all. But, uh... Anyway, this is about the third time we've took it backpacking. My wife's got one exactly like it. As you can see, mine does not look as strong as it should. Um, last night when I was sleeping on it, all the air went out of it. So I poured some water on it today. Found a leak here. Uh, first I patched it with this orange pad here, with this orange patch. And it did not work out so good for me. Uh, so it was still losing air. So then I went with this uh, black patch here and some uh, super glue. Dried it by the fire, um, all that good stuff, blowed it up again, and this is what I got. So I. Uh, I don't know, you know, I carry a lot of knives and things like that, but uh, normally I don't sleep with one under my head, so I have no idea. It's been in my backpack with a lot of gear, so I could have poked it there. Um, what I'm most concerned about is I patched that hole, and I know it was a hole because it was bubbling water, and then I could see it after I put water on it. I've patched it twice. Sorry, my light's shadow from the camera is dark. Um, and I still got a leak, so I don't I don't understand that, and that concerns me if I get a leak in my air mattress in there, if the patch job's going to work for it, because that would suck to be sleeping on the ground if that springs a leak and the patch just don't work. So, um, if anybody's got any uh, ideas or comments or what I did wrong. Um, when I get home, I'm going to totally submerge it in water and see if maybe I've got a leak in the seal around it. Um, like I said, my wife, she's got one exactly like it. She bought two, and hers is still holding air. So, um, you know, I can't, I can't say all these pillows are bad. Um, and like I said, it could just be something in my backpack. So uh, we'll see how hers holds out in the future and I'm gonna submerge this and find if the seams held up good and it was just that little hole and maybe I patched it wrong or maybe the patches are bad I don't know but anyways that is this successo success um, pillow um, and uh, thanks for watching So this is what a spoiled little pit bull looks like when you take it camping with you. They moved both of our beds out of the way and laid in the middle on my hammock gear premium zero degrees top quilt. Um, making it her, her own. So anyways, I just wanted to show everybody what Peach Fuzz does. Say hi Peach Fuzz. So what's up, Daddy? Peach Fuzz is going to do some snuggling, ain't you? Mm. Yes, you're going to do some snuggling. Yes, there he is. Your daddy kisses. Daddy kisses? No kisses for Daddy? <laughs> All righty. Just wanted to show you off. I... Ready? Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Mike, Melissa, and Peaches with Fresh Air with Pal. It is, when well, we slept in and watched a movie this morning, so it's 9.30, but it's really dark and dreary. I think it might rain today, but I wanted to do a video and show you guys how we make a fire. Um, my wife comes with me on all these trips. I'm lucky to have a wife that likes doing stuff like this. 
Uh, but to keep her coming and keep her happy, I gotta keep her warm and comfortable. So uh, I try to build her a fire every morning. And then when the sun starts going down, I'll make her a fire at night. So the last time we came, it was raining and everything was wet. And we had brought a bunch of fire starters. I grew up in the mountains of West Virginia on the river, and we never used fire starters or anything, but I found out how helpful they can be with wet material. Today we're blessed with dry wood. We got a little dew from the morning, but we processed all this yesterday and the day before. So what I got is these little fire starters from Walmart. I don't uh, remember what the name of them are. It might just be fire starters. Um, and what I did is I put one down here on my old logs from yesterday. And I'm putting a bunch of kindling around it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to light that. And that kindling is going to catch. And then I'm going to keep piling some small things on here so that it will catch very fast. And then on top of that I'll put some medium sized sticks that will take a little longer to catch. But they'll still catch fairly fast and they'll burn a little bit longer than that kindling does. And then I'll put some larger sticks on there in a TP shape. And uh, that'll be how I build my fire. These are kind of the medium sticks here. We'll go ahead and TP them up a little bit just to get started. I'm getting ready to light it here so that uh, you guys can kind of see what's going to happen. And uh, it should catch pretty fast in here. Now we got a couple different lighting mechanisms. I always carry a little big mini in my pocket. And this has got another lighter. I got some of the rods to just. Uh, Fast and you see how easy that lit up with just one little flick of the lighter. And it's catching all these little ones. And like I said, I'm going to put some medium ones over that. Once that gets going real good, we'll put some larger ones on top of it. But you want to have something substantial on there so that when it catches, it'll burn long enough to catch those big ones. And those little ones aren't going to catch those big ones up. Sorry, my nose is running this way. there is to starting a fire in the morning it's that quick that simple so thank you for watching i'm going to keep throwing some wood on this and get it going nice and good but that's pretty much all you need right there hi everybody um my name is michael and uh this channel is uh, called Fresh Air with Fouch, and uh, I just wanted to kind of explain what I'm going to try to do with this channel. Um, my wife and I, we, we backpack a lot. Uh, we buy a lot of gear. We uh, are going to start hiking a lot of different trails. Um, we uh, predominantly hike this Tiska and uh, Wilson's Creek area. Uh, we've been down to South Mountain. Um, of course, our dream is to do some of the big trails, the big three. Um, we own a granite shop, so the time is uh, scarce for us. Um, but once a month, we schedule a three-day weekend, and we go backpacking and hiking. Um, during the holidays, we also get a lot of time off, and we go backpacking and hiking then. So I want to try to do some reviews on some of the gear we got. Um, I want to do some 
reviews and uh, tell you guys about the trails um, we go on. Um, this is our favorite thing to do. This is how we get away and refresh. Uh, you know, the Granite Shop feeds our body out here, feeds our soul. So um, I just kind of wanted to make a channel and share all that with everybody. So um, thanks for watching.